Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a very simple way that you can fix metadata services on Windows XP, Windows Vista, as well as Windows 7. However, unfortunately, there is one caveat. The caveat is that you will need to have TLS versions 1.1 or TLS 1.2 working. There are ways to get Windows. Uh, Windows 7 is no problem in this regard if it's fully if the operating system is fully updated. But for Windows Vista, you need to download some updates online, as well as as well as a res registry patch. And for Windows XP, um, it's a very complicated process to get. TLS 1.1 and TLS 1.2 working. However, if you're interested, I will put some links in the description below. Once you have that working, what you need to do is you'll need to go to your computer. You will then need to go to your install drive and you would like to then locate the hosts file. So I'm just going to search for hosts, and here I have the hosts file. So now I have this. I'm just going to open this with notepad for now. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste this into the hosts file. Once you do that, um, save the hosts file. And I'm just going to paste this uh, string in the description. However, make sure that the hosts file does not have any kind of um, tag to it. So what I mean by that is that oftentimes you'll find something like program.exe or uh, text.text. .text. Like here it says, uh, um, I am hosts.sam. However, for hosts, you're going to want to absolutely make sure that it has no such um, extension at the end of it. Now, once that is done, you can then open Media Player. And I know my song selection isn't great. These are all just pretty old, but I can now use this find album info tag and then it can search and now it can connect to a special server and I can actually get some metadata, which is amazing. So now, for example, if you put a CD in your computer, it will automatically update the stuff. However, unfortunately, it can't load images due for some reason. It's rather strange. I had to add them manually. But, um, you know, it's not really something that we can really look towards. But this is the best thing that we have going for us right now. So, yeah, with this little hack, you can get metadata working on Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good day.